Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caleb. This is 8Crew. So I just launched here in Aguadilla. I'm a little under the re under the weather, so we're getting a late start today. But we're gonna head north to up by Isabella and drift some of the reef spots I know. Hopefully we can get on something. But I plan to fish the whole you know afternoon bite until it gets dark. And I got lights, so We'll be able to run back in the dark, but hopefully we get on some fish. I'll see you guys on the way, and I'll see you when we get hooked up on some fish. Stay tuned. First fish, these guys got no regulation, but a little on the small side. So I'm gonna let them go. Whatever it is, it's not big. Another one of these guys. It's Mario Mataquia. These are the guy, same fish I caught earlier with no regulation. Beautiful fish. Oh.
no monster, but it was a nice fun fight. Be able to use him for some bait. Check this guy. Nice little grouper. Seasons for these guys actually end. Uh, there's a close season between, I think it's April 1st. No, December through the end of February. Seasons for these guys, they're closed. The guy's too small anyways. Let's get back down there. We got some fish marking. On the fish finder, some fish markings. So let's get back down there. Hopefully, we get on another fish. This is on the belly hoop. Oh, it fucking broke off. I got on a bunch of kingfish. That's what it was. I'm gonna throw this out real quick. Got hooked up on the shit I just threw out. Oh, 
Working up on the fish today, boys. Nice catch. Fun fight, too. Hooked up, y'all. Probably one of them little ass groupers again. Not pulling much. Wait. Yep. That's a better one. I might keep them. Oh my god. Oh, that's my that has to be my PB mutton. God, thank you god. Oh my god. That's got to be my PB mutton right there. The stormy day. Fishing's a good, it's good fishing. I'm out here in Boca Ron, Puerto Rico. We just landed a nice, big mutt. It's gonna be good eating for Easter. Black Friday. I said Black Friday, but it's gonna be good eating for Easter. Elizabeth's gonna be super happy with this fish. <laughs> On the star rod, spin fish. Look, that's a 48 quart, 48 quart igloo, right there. Bad boy's the size of the igloo, man. But something about fishing in this kind of weather, the bite always just is, it seems to be better. I don't know why. I don't know, maybe the fish just can't see the bait as easily or they're more active in the rain. But every time I come out, it's rain. I end up having a little more luck. Woo! 
We slaying them today, boys. Hooking up on them good today. Beautiful fish. Puerto Rico for about a month. Super happy. Got this nice yellow tail too. Good yellow. Good nice mutton. Liz is gonna be happy. But yeah. Fun day of fishing. Super grateful to catch this fish. This guy too. I got the other grouper. But guys, I'm gonna call it uh there's no current. Can't fish the way I fish. I mean, that's why I need to get a vertical jig set up. Because right now, there's literally no current. If I had the vertical jig, I could, you know, vertical jig right now on a spot. But how my rigs are set up, they're set up for, you know, when you're drifting, I flat, I, I you know, let my line out with the mono. But, yeah, guys, I'm, I'm going to call it, most likely. Um, if I end up closing out the video, I stop fishing. I'm gonna go out tomorrow. Uh, hopefully the weather, you know, is a little better. But I'm telling you, with this, when it's like this, I don't know. For some reason, the bite's always better for me. But super grateful for this fish. Thank you for tuning in, guys. Like and subscribe if you're joining the current the contest. See you in the next one.